hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here if you're just joining the family you want to first of all subscribe to this channel before anything else so today's video is going to be quick and beautiful so i'm going to be talking to you about how i was able to move to the uk without making any tuition deposits or any deposit for accommodation unlike how you guys do it right now so let's get into the video so i applied for my admission in 2020 all by myself and i got a conditional offer and then the school told me that for them to give me an unconditional offer i'd have to appear you know they'll have to have an interview with me and after the interview i could you know become i can have like a full offer an unconditional offer so i attended that interview and after it they said that they could you know my skin looks dry they said they could um, give you someone to assist me someone in nigeria like they are is it affiliates or whatever they call it so they gave me that person i was asking the person questions because i was just like you i didn't know anything about the uk i didn't know how it's done i was just a young girl shooting my shorts and you know going all out to make things work and so i was asking that person questions uh, even till the visa stage till i got after i got my visa i was still in contact with him you know and i didn't pay nothing for it it was a free service that the university provided and you know at some point during the admission process i was asking the school that at what time am i going to make a deposit because my dad was even asking me and you know they weren't saying anything reasonable as to whether i had to pay a deposit or not and you know i just had to let the matter go and i was just asking this guy since he's been doing this stuff for quite some time and i was like at what point am i going to make a deposit he would tell me just write to the school and get what they'll, they'll say to you and i'll tell him oh they didn't say anything reasonable so okay just forget about it if they're not pushing for it and unlike now then i got my cast you know nothing paid just after giving me the um i had to do okay because it, it, it was called a cast um question yeah i had to fill it and they had series of questions about your funding they just wanted to see how you'll be able to fund your education how you know um strong you had to move to the uk and be able to sustain yourself while you're here and i actually filled in all the stuff and i passed all of them and i applied for my visa I went for the interview, they asked questions about your accommodation. So the school also asked me, you know, they'll be sending you emails. They sent an email saying, would you like to stay in school accommodation? I said yes, because obviously I know no one here. And so I accepted and I was like, they were going to, I thought they were going to like send me link to say, okay, make your first month um, deposit for the accommodation, but nothing. So guys, I shall... I went for the visa interview, asked a series of questions, about 20 questions, asked me, okay, I think I'll do another video where I tell you about, I don't know if they still have, they hardly do the interview thing, but I can do another video where I'll tell you the kind of questions that I was asked. One of the questions was, how much does your mom make? And I was like, man, I don't know, African parents, they don't tell you what they make. If they can take care of your, your bills, they can, they don't have to tell you what they make. And he was laughing. Honestly, I didn't cram anything before going there. I was like, I am not faking anything. I didn't put out a fake document, so why should I like cram some stuff? The only thing I had to learn was why do I want to come to the UK? Why do I like the UK? I had to go online to see reasons and I picked those reasons. And you know, I passed. Yeah. Then my brother was studying in the UK. They asked about my brother. Um, where is he studying? I knew my brother was in the UK, but bad enough, I didn't know where in the UK my brother was studying. It was in London, but I didn't know, so I was like, sorry, I don't know, but I know my sibling is in the UK. <laughs> the guy would laugh. He asked me, I'm already telling you guys about my interview. So he asked me about um, why they switch from accounting to nursing. I said, after accounting, I didn't even try to get a job because it's quite a boring course. He said, uh, it's, it's obvious that accounting is boring. I was like, this guy, are you, are you just, you know, pulling my legs now? And, you know, a lot of questions I was asked. And when it, when the time came, I got my visa and I was still like in contact with the school to finally ask them that, do I need to pay anything or <laughs> I don't know because what if I get to the UK and then I'm, I am stopped, like I'm not allowed to enter because I didn't make any, any, any payments, no tuition, no accommodation and yet I've come into the country. So I was like, okay, 
I got to the UK, I passed through the border control. They just wanted to know where are you going to be staying. And I told them that my main accommodation is at the Keys and my parenting accommodation is at So So Place. And they said, Welcome to United Kingdom. <laughs> and I got into United Kingdom and I went to the first accommodation. I stayed there for 10 days. And you know, school gave me a lot of stuff because I was an international student. A lot of feeding, things to eat. Like if I if I didn't have anything to eat at the time, they, they provided me stuff to eat. And you know, I had all of those. And when I moved into the main accommodation, they gave me toiletries, kitchen utensils, spoons, pots, plates, glass glasses, and the rest. I got even a bed sheet. I got a duvet, and you know amazing and i started staying i came in is in september and you know in october they were still not saying anything about payment i was like my father my father was like you your name is fit you're really really a woman of fit it's only a woman of fit that can travel from nigeria to the uk without paying for tuition without paying for accommodation <laughs> and i just be laughing but sometimes my heart would be like god i am a student in this university but after some time, some weeks, they sent an email saying, okay, your deposit is due, you have to make your first installment. So I saw that they had to split the payment for the tuition into three um, installments, first, second, and third term. And for the accommodation, they had to split into four for me. And you know, I think it was like, was this autumn, spring, summer, and winter payment, something like that for the accommodation. So the accommodation was quite expensive. So I stayed there, I paid only for the first term and then I wrote a letter to them telling them that I want to post it and I want to go out so the campus to get a place and this was the place I came to get. Mind you, I don't live here alone, it's a shared apartment. So I came here because this was more affordable and but school accommodation was sweet. It was, you know, it was quite easy doing stuff, moving to the laundry, walking to school just doing everything and and where where they placed us was um a flat where everyone there was in nursing so i was just with my classmate a few times we had to like have reading um, study group together and it was beautiful so guys it took like the end of october or the beginning of november before i made payment for my tuition and for my accommodation so it's beautiful to know that someone could come into this country without any payment <laughs> So what do you think? Is it that I am that woman of faith or it was the school's policy at the time? So sometimes I used to think that maybe it was because of the COVID that they had to do it. They didn't want to put like burden on parents at the time. They wanted people to be able to go to school without, you know, anything. So guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. Drop a comment, ask me questions, you know give me video suggestions what would you like to know about the uk what about the admission would you like me to talk about i am open to you know picking from your comments and creating videos so until next time don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to um share the video don't forget to drop a comment just tell me sincerely how you feel and i'm going to look now for comments your introductions your name and everything so that we'll get to know each other tell me your name tell me your country so my name is fate as you all know i am based in the uk i am from nigeria and i also live in america so guys until next time i am your very fit ever Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation